Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 15, I think, of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. So I was recording this whole episode and, uh, well, it just turned out to be kind of not important. They are fleeing from us, basically. I have chased down and killed one destroyer already, and I've been pursuing them in this manner. I've pinched off a light cruiser and a um, armed merchant cruiser, and my battle ships are still pursuing their ships down. We're going all the way to their port. So right now the good news is I have pinched, pincered off uh, this Toronto class and this guy. So I'll let my light cruisers make work, short work of them, so hopefully. So they probably are realizing the desperation of their situation. We're getting a lot of good hips. And we're just gonna go ahead and do as much damage as we can. Um, this one's almost over. I think, so basically just finish off all the ships we have here. I'm going to bring my battleships over just to basically protect the light cruisers now. Their job is going to be more protection than anything else now. Because I'm already content if we are able to pull off these guys. If we can sink these two, I'll be very happy. So to that point, we'll go ahead and start turning our battleships in. We'll keep our one group of light cruisers with these guys. Um, it's midday, so we don't have any concerns about, like, oh, okay. we're actually able to get a few battleship hits here. So we'll just do one last kind of barrage at these guys, and then we'll come over and finish off these guys. And we'll just call this episode to a close. Actually, it looks like pretty good action. <laughs> well, we got an 11 inch hit, that's nice. There's their torpedo ships turning, so we're just going to preemptively turn away already. And here comes our light cruisers, just in time to prevent any kind of maneuver. Really good. Keep going, but... So we smashed that, got another hit there, and are even working on their escorts, it's good. So this ship is probably sunk, let's focus on the Toronto class here, which is actually going to be working its way, tragically for it, right back into my main battle line. Okay, so we'll just sink these guys and be on our merry way. Are they pursuing? They are. This seems a little strange. We don't mind. It's very okay. Oh, well, this could change things. <laughs> the question is, have we done enough damage to prevent the blockade? I mean, our vision is still good. Let's go ahead and pursue. The order has been given. About face. So this one sunk for sure. I think we even had a torpedo coming in that was going to hit. No, it didn't. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Get everyone back down to 18. We'll come in very organized. Okay, I think that they're just going to run to port, because, yeah, I mean, port's right here for them. But on the off chance that we can still get some kind of work done, we'll go ahead and try. Okay, let's see what happens. They are... they're not turning away. Very interesting. It's like they're kind of, it seems like they feel okay to engage very close to their port. But I'm also okay for that. I'm gonna make sure that we're not obstructing our lines too much, which we currently are doing. Turn them back hard. 
Otherwise, this is pretty good, having these guys all here. I like that. Lots of screens, just in case they decide to go crazy. We should probably shift back towards the battleships. But there is one battleship over here. All right, yeah, we'll just, I guess we'll just kind of drive through the lines, see what we can get. We're fishing for more ships. Any more ships that we can get. I'm a little nervous about running right into a <laughs> fleet of <laughs> destroyers, of course, but we have very good escort protection. Okay, so let's let these guys get those escorts and tentatively just do some zoning with the rest of our battleships. Actually scored a, a big hit on this Marco Polo class. That's very good. Okay, good. What is this guy doing? I think we should about face our lines and go after those battleships. Oh, our visibility is decreasing. Okay. So now is about the time when I start to get worried. I'm not really worried about uh, our position here. But it, positioning seems solid. Let's just more focus on maintaining good fleet composition here in terms of spacing, formation, etc. Okay, fine. Doesn't matter. Just let them go. Okay, there's probably them right there. Yeah. So we will pursue, I guess. Again. Oops. Poor Jupiter went the wrong way. They're turning again. Do we turn? Yeah, we need to maintain this corner, so we'll turn again. <laughs> I need my whole fleet to turn together. Okay. This has to be the last turn, though. Because, yeah, there. That's good. Okay, get you going that way. Their escorts are out of position, so we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and push this really hard, this advantage really hard. Let's go to squad max, which is 18. Let's pursue. So this is the big boys. We are getting a few hits in, here and there. They're turning back. Okay, this is it. We're engaging. Okay, come back. We have the wind on our side. Gentle breeze, not going to help too much, but any little bit counts. Okay, lots of hits now. This is good. We don't want her to get away. We've done so much work to line up this closely. 
I was thought that might be a torpedo hit. Which is a real danger from this close, but the worst case scenario is we take a hit, we probably don't die, and we still sink them. Okay, this is good. Good, so this will be the end of this episode, actually. I mean, well, the end of this engagement. It's only been 10 minutes because <laughs> I brought you guys in about halfway through. We'll split the difference. We'll go ahead and pincer them. <clears throat> Oops, Jupiter. Forgot to come along for the ride. So I assume that they have heavy damage, which is why I'm doing this. I saw heavy damage, but yeah, I think it's... I think we're in good shape. Okay, there's some more 12-inch hits. Some more 12-inch hits. Here's the Tiger. Maybe she's making a torpedo run at long last. Here's the other Roma class we'll have to be a little careful about. Like, Tiger, I don't know, if you're not trying to launch torpedoes, this is a very precarious position for you. I mean, because this is you doing it by yourself. I'm doing it intentionally. Okay, that's one less torpedo tube they have. We're down to, what, two? Nope, still just one. I mean, still three are available. Did you launch torpedoes? No? What's wrong with you? Try to get them to launch torpedoes, which will speed this up significantly. Oh, there she goes. She's dead in the water. Okay, now everyone can go ahead and engage, and then we'll finish this one off. There it is. Okay, good. Okay, so go to AI, everyone to AI control. You are... Yeah, there it is. So now we'll just go ahead and uh, cruise on out of here. Very good. So a very good engagement for us, just in case you guys didn't see. Because um, I guess I don't remember exactly where I brought you in, but somewhere around here, when we had already sunk a destroyer up there. Yeah, we'll send a Tiger to pick up survivors. So the Rome is sunk, and uh, I think we successfully engaged maybe some other ships. Oh, yeah, a light cruiser and a armed merchant cruiser. Not sure how much damage we did to those, but very good. So a good engagement, and for you guys, very short, because yeah, I jumped you in right in the middle of the action, which is great. Another battle, uh, we outnumbered them that in that one. It was four battleships to three, which might have been the reason why they decided not to. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Maybe it just means she took light damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the Franz Ferdinand. What a silly battleship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can see here where we sunk the battleship, a light cruiser, two destroyers, and that um, one arm merchant ship. So very good. We should be uh, even an even better situation when we leave. Oh, I, I'll just in case. You wanted a view of that battle. We started over here, um, we wrapped all the way over here, and then this is where we, we contacted the fleet here and began to pursue them in this pattern. And then you guys joined around here after we had sunk the destroyer there. Sunk the light cruiser and our merchant, then we did this little path over here, um, tried to attack their destroyers. And then we just chased after the one Roma battleship, sunk her over there, and uh, returned to port. Very good. So another big prestige win for us. Um, I'm not going to worry about those too much. So, very good. What does that mean for us next? Do we build more battle? I, I just, I'm waiting for this war to end, and I'm cautious because every time I want to end the war, we still have five more months before these ships come in. Only five more months though, that's not that long. Not that long. So hopefully that, uh, maybe we can get away with. Huh. So we could shift it towards the army, but I think we'll say the Navy can win this war. 
because I think it's coming too close to an end and I want the budget. <laughs> Another British ship. I don't know if you guys have been following, but the British have lost like four ships and a cruiser battle. So uh, this will be a nice short update. I'll go ahead and accept this because we're really at critical, uh, we're at a critical point in the war where our government could collapse at any time with this unrest, with the blockade. And again, I forgot to check and see why we're being blockaded, but um, <clears throat> I really need to take every, if we are seriously being blockaded again, I need to take every opportunity. Actually, this one I'm gonna decline because it looks terrible for us. So I'm gonna decline this. I'm gonna decline this. And a fleet battle. Okay, this one I think we have to accept. But probably I'll just do the same thing where uh, I was looking for the St. George, but no St. George. Hmm. Unfortunate. I'll just do the same thing where I'll just jump into this battle. We'll zip forward a bit, see what happens. Try to get some kills. We did sink yet another battleship, so they should be down. We should have at least a one battleship advantage. So maybe I won't even record this one. I mean, um, I'll, I'll record it as I always do, but maybe I won't end up airing this episode. So thanks for watching this episode. Nice short one. Just brief update. Another battleship sunk. And hopefully soon the damn Italians will surrender. <laughs> but uh, I'll just see you in the next video.